Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to create a multiple choice quiz in Java. So we're gonna write a program that's going to allow a user to basically take a multiple choice quiz. And as they're taking that quiz, we'll be able to keep track of like what questions they get right, which ones they get wrong, and then we'll be able to like grade the quiz and give them a grade at the end. So this is gonna be really cool, and we're gonna use a lot of different things that we've learned so far in Java. We're gonna use things like classes, um, we're gonna use for loops, we're gonna use if statements, we're gonna use a bunch of stuff to do this. So the first thing that I wanna do is, I want to actually show you guys what I have over here. So I just have two questions that I created. The first one is, what color are apples? And the options are A, red and green, B, orange, or C, magenta. It's a pretty easy quiz. The other question is what color are bananas? And it's like red, green, yellow, or blue. So this is like the text for like the questions that I wanna ask. But actually the first thing I wanna do is create a Java class. And I wanna create a class which can represent a question for our multiple choice quiz. So a question really has two attributes. It has the question prompt, and then it has the question answer. So there's these two attributes and I want to be able to store those inside of a class. So I'm basically gonna say new and we're gonna create a class and we're gonna create a class called question. And so down here, we'll just click finish. And over here, we're gonna define our question class. So I'm basically gonna create two attributes inside of this question class. The first is gonna be a string. So it's gonna be the prompt and the second thing is just gonna be the answer. So we'll have like the prompt for the question and we'll have the answer to the question. And I'm actually gonna create an initialize method so we can initialize this object. So I can just say public question and inside here I'm gonna accept two parameters. We're gonna accept the prompt and we're also gonna accept the answer. And I just wanna say this.prompt is equal to prompt and this.answer is equal to answer. So basically what I'm doing is I'm accepting input and whatever the user passes into this method is gonna get stored as the questions prompt and the questions answer. So we can use this method to basically like give this object some initial value, some initial information. So we have our question class and now I'm gonna head over to my app.java file and I basically wanna create two question objects. And I wanna show you guys how we can create an array of questions. So this is gonna be kinda of cool. So I'm basically just gonna say question and I'm gonna use these open and close square brackets and that basically means that I wanna create an array of questions. So I'm gonna create two questions and we'll store them inside of an array. So I'm gonna say question and we'll just call this questions and we'll just set it equal to our array. So inside of this array, I'm basically gonna create two question objects. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create our first question. So I'm gonna say new question, and inside of parentheses, I wanna pass this question all the values that I want it to have. So I can just say um, the prompt is gonna just be Q1 from up here. So I can just say Q1, and the answer to Q1 is A, right? So the answer to what color are apples is red, green. Uh, so we're just gonna say A. And that's our first question. And again, we're creating an array of questions. So now I'm gonna use this comma. We'll come down here and create our next question. So I can just say new question and we're gonna pass in Q2. So that's gonna be the prompt and we're also gonna pass in the answer. So the answer to what color are bananas is B yellow. So B is gonna be the correct answer. So basically I've created an array of questions and the first question is just the question that corresponds to this first prompt and the second question is just the one that corresponds to this second prompt. So we're actually doing pretty well. We have an array with all of our questions in it. Now here comes the difficult part. We're actually gonna have to let the user take the test and we're gonna have to like grade it as we go. So what I wanna do is actually create a new method and we're gonna make a method which is basically just gonna be called take test and it'll allow us to take this test. So I'm gonna come down here 
and we'll basically just say public static void we're not gonna return anything and then i'm just gonna say take test so this method will accept one parameter and that parameter is going to be an array of questions so we want to pass it that array of questions that we created so i'm just going to say question open and close square brackets and we'll just call this questions so what i'm doing here is i'm accepting a parameter which is an array of questions. And that's exactly what we created up here. You see, we created an array of questions. And actually, I don't need a semicolon there. So inside of this method, we're basically gonna take all the questions and we're gonna ask the user each individual question. And depending on if the user gets the question right or wrong, we're gonna increment a variable which keeps track of their score. So I'm gonna create a variable and it's just gonna be an integer. It's gonna be called score and I'll set it equal to zero. So the user will start off with zero points. They haven't gotten any questions right. Now what we need to do is we need to actually ask the questions. So what I wanna do is create a for loop and we're just gonna loop through each one of these questions and we're gonna ask the user. So I'm gonna say for int i is equal to zero, i is less than questions.length so basically less than the number of questions that we have and then just i plus plus so make an open and close curly bracket and now inside of this for loop we want to do a couple things basically we want to ask the user the question we want to be able to get their answer and we want to check to see if that answer is right and if that answer is right we'll increment the score if the answer is wrong, then we won't increment the score. So first things first is we need to create a Java scanner. We need to be able to get input from the user. And the way that we do that is by creating a scanner. So I'm just going to say scanner keyboard input is equal to new scanner system dot in. And this is actually going to throw an error because we have to import the scanner class into our Java file. And if I'm on Eclipse, I can just hover over here and click this import button, and this will actually do it for me. So now you can see up here at the top of the file, it's importing java.util.scanner. All right, so now that we have our scanner set up, we're actually gonna be able to get input from the user. So the first thing I wanna do is write out the prompt. So I wanna like prompt the user with the question. I wanna give them the question. So I'm just gonna say system.out.print, and we can just say, print line and inside of here we want to basically just print out the question we want to print out the prompt for the question so i can actually access the specific question that we're looping through by saying questions i dot prompt so in each iteration through this loop we're going to be accessing a different questions prompt then what we want to do is we want to create a variable to store their answers. String answer is equal to input, whoops, keyboard input dot next line. And this is basically just going to grab whatever the user enters in and store it as our answer. Finally, what we want to do is check to see if that answer is correct. So I want to compare that answer to the answer to the question and we'll be able to see if they got it right. So I can just say if, and we want to again, compare the answer to the answer to the, the actual answer to the question. So I can say if answer dot equals, and I basically just want to check to see if it's equal to the answer to the question inside the questions array. So I can just say questions I dot answer. So this is gonna compare the answer that they just entered to the answer for the specific question. And now inside here, if they got the answer right, so if this is true, that means they got the answer right, we can just say score plus plus. So we'll add one to their score. And once we're done with this for loop, that means that they've gone through all the questions and we've graded them. So I'm just gonna print out, I'll just say system.out.print line and we can just print out their score. So I can say, you got, and we'll basically say like, you got like two out of three or like five out of 10 or, you know, however many questions they got out of the possible questions. So we can say, you got score, and we'll just say out of, 
And now we just want to put the total number of questions that they were asked. So we can say questions.length. And this should basically give us exactly what we need. So let's see how we did. Hopefully we typed everything out correctly. Actually, I need to move this up one line. So that should be right in there. So we have our take test method, which basically can take an array of questions and it'll ask the questions and grade the test. Now let's head back up here. And what I want to do is I want to actually call this method. So I'm going to go ahead and call the method. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say take test and we'll just pass in this array of questions that we just made. So questions. And now we should be able to go through and take this test. Hopefully everything works. This was kind of a complicated program, but we'll see if we got it right. I'm just going to click the run button and you can see over here it's asking me the question. So it's saying, okay, here's the first question. What color are apples? So pressure's on. Uh, let's see if we can get the answer right. I'm going to type in A, hit enter. Okay, now here's our next question. What color are bananas? This is a tough one too. Say B, yellow. So we typed in the answers and now it says you got two out of two. Cool. So we got 100% on the quiz. Let's see what happens when we get one wrong. So let's say what are apples? We'll say C, magenta and bananas, we'll get that one right. So we'll say yellow. Now it's gonna say you got one out of two. So no matter how many questions I get right, it's always gonna tell me like how I did on the test. So this was kind of a lot of code and I'm gonna walk you guys through it one more time just so we can see exactly what we did. What I started with was basically two question prompts. So I had two questions in mind that I wanted to ask and I stored them in these string variables. Then what I did is I created a class to represent a question on our test. And this class had two attributes. It had the question prompt and then it had the answer to the question. And I created this initialize method down here so I could easily create the question object. Over here in this app.java file, I created an array of questions. So the array actually stored two different questions inside of it. So we put this first question in here and we basically basically just created the question by saying new question. We passed in the prompt and we passed in the answer. And then I created another question by saying new question. We passed in the prompt and again, we passed in the answer. And then I came down here and I called this take test method and I gave it that array of questions. So this take test method accepted the array of questions. It created an integer called score and then we created a scanner and the scanner is really just used so we can get input from the user. And down here inside this for loop, this is where all the magic happened. This is like the most important part of our entire program. It's basically looping through all of the questions inside of that questions array. So it's just looping through every single question that we gave it. And for every single question, it's printing out the questions prompt. So the first time through this loop, it's printing out the first questions prompt. The second time through the loop, it's printing out the second question's prompt. It's printing out the prompt for each question. And then what it's doing is it's getting the answer that the user inputs. So whatever answer the user inputs, it's going to go grab that answer, store it inside of this answer variable. Finally, what it's going to do is it's going to check to see if the user got that answer right. So it's going to check to see if the answer that they entered is equal to the answer of the question that was asked. And we can access the answer of the question that was asked by just saying questions, square brackets, I. And if that was true, we incremented the score. And so we just went through that loop as many times as there were questions. And then after we were done, we just printed out the score that they got. So I know that's a lot of code. And if it doesn't fully make sense, that's okay. You know, write your own little question and answer program and see if you can figure out how to do something similar to this. And really, here's the thing. The only way that you're going to learn this stuff is just by going in and playing around with it and, you know, honestly breaking it and then trying to fix it and breaking it, and trying to fix it. So don't be afraid to go in and try to build something like this yourself. Trust me, you'll learn a lot. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.